Hey, are you battling with your college debt? Are you struggling to close new patients or just get them in the door? Our system is designed to create weight loss and nutritional clients into raving chiropractic fans. This program can easily increase or possibly double your income. So get ready and become the chiropractic authority. Welcome to the Chiropractic Authority. Hey, this is Aaron Tressler. And this is Kyle Muir. K-Dog. Hey, K-Dog and T-Bone. Hey, you're in for a real treat today. We are going to walk you through our weight loss workshop, something that drove our results through the roof. And we discovered through trial and error <laughs> over and over, years of doing this, from the doctor's reports to weight loss, to, and we finally one day hit a home run when we added in the chiropractic part. And we're going to show you how we do this and and how to present yourself. Because if you're going out into the public, if you're doing workshops in your office on weight loss, there's things that you should do every time. And if you don't do them, you're, you're never going to see results. And there's certain things that when you do do them, you're going to have everyone signing up every single time. In fact, almost every workshop, we would have at least over 90% most of the time, 100% sign up for our exam. Wouldn't that be nice? You know, many times there are only five people at a workshop. You know, on a Saturday morning, five come. And I used to complain about this. Like, ah, oh, man, I'm five people. But five times $5,000 is 25 grand. Let's just say you only made 2000 a piece. $10,000 for a Saturday? Hey, not bad. And we're, we're going to show you how to do this. So when you do have 10, 15, 20 people, Man, you sign them all up. What's interesting is the people that wouldn't sign up are the, the ones that didn't have to lose weight. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, but many times, they would come up to us afterwards and say, hey, I know I'm here for my wife. She needs to lose weight. Or I'm here for my husband. But I want to get checked by by. I want to I want to see what this is all about. Yeah, this is literally the golden ticket. Like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. This is the <laughs> golden ticket that has just exploded our practice because... You're literally taking and, and promoting weight loss, right? Because like, like we've talked a million times. When I first started, I'm like, weight loss and chiropractic. Like, what the heck does really? that have to do with each other? Why am I doing this? I went to Sherman. Like, what the heck? But literally, you're taking the need of people in your community who don't want anything to do with chiropractic, but they know they need to lose weight. And you are filling that void for them short term so they understand like okay i do need to lose weight this place can help me but you'll see throughout the workshop how we can transition them to understand that yes they need to lose weight but also their physiology is under stress their neurology is under stress and that's what chiropractic helps them with and they need to not only lose weight but they also need to get under long-term chiropractic care and that's what this does it draws from a humongous audience 108 million Americans the need to lose weight and want to lose weight not even just need it because we all know people need chiropractic every single person with a spine needs chiropractic but they don't know that they need it so they right. don't come into your office these people know they need to lose weight and they want to lose weight that's the difference. So as we walk you through this, we're going step by step through this. Literally take notes on this if you're not driving in your car. If you are driving in your car, listen to this again when you get home. Because aside from like literally handing you the slides, this is exactly what we do every single time. Yeah, and our clients that are, are with us in the Chiropractic Authority program, the cells of the weight loss system and chiropractic in their office, this is what you get. Uh, the PowerPoint, all you need to do is download it, put it on your computer, and do it. And what's interesting is the results we're getting back from docs, they say, hey, should I change this around? I'm like, no, don't change it. Yeah. Memorize it and do it. And I have, we have a, a doc It called me shortly after, a few docs, and said, hey, I did the first workshop. They all signed up for an exam. And it's 100%. And, mm -hmm. I, and I, I laugh. I said, because that's what we tell them. Look, you're going to get close to 100% every time. Mm -hmm. That's what we're going to show you. So yeah, let's and, jump right in. And what's even better is, too, not only do they get the slides, I and both you and I, we recorded what we do. Like we recorded one of our own workshops as we were doing it. So that you get that too. So you can hear the inflections in our voice. You can hear mm -hmm. all the different things, the different techniques that we use. And if you wanted to, you could literally just play that. You don't <laughs> have to speak if you don't want. I prefer to speak, but you don't have to. We already have it recorded out for you. So 
just to jump right into it, the very first thing, as soon as the as soon as your patients w- come into this workshop, what we do is we have them fill out a piece of paper while they're sitting waiting for it to get started. The information on the paper is real simple. It's like, how much weight do you want to lose? Why do you want to lose the weight? Are you taking any medications? Here's a list of, of symptoms like low energy, right? I mean, of course, if they're overweight, they're going to have low energy. Um, they have high blood pressure. They have diabetes. They have blah, 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 blah whatever they have, and then they fill that out and they turn it in before we even start the workshop because what I would do is I would take that information and I would literally remember the names of like a handful of people. If there's if there's 20 people there, I'm only going to pick out three or four and see what they had because I'm going to use them throughout the workshop when I'm talking. So if I know that, that Jim has low energy, when I'm talking about the low energy part, I'm going to say, Jim, And he'll be surprised that I remember what his name is. Like, you'll literally be blown away by how much more they respect you and see you as an authority if you remember their name. If there's 20 people there and you took the time to say, hey, this is Jim, and Jim has low energy. Mm -hmm. It just blows you away. So I always do that at the beginning. Really easy to do. Takes a couple seconds to memorize that, and then you jump right into your talk. So then the very first slide, we talk about weight loss. And the very first sentence is, it's about being healthy. It's not just about the pounds. Right, So we're starting right off the get-go at saying, listen, we understand that you need to lose weight, but it's not all about your weight. It's about your healthy, your physiology, your function. And when you say that, everyone in the audience says, oh, I couldn't agree more. They just don't know. They don't know you know how to be healthy but they would agree they want to be healthy and the and another point to make is when you do your advertising and draw people in don't position yourself as a chiropractor you have to you know marketing in in your state you may have to put dc behind your name we do that that's not a problem that's what we have to do but i don't say hey this is a chiropractic office doing a weight loss program I just promote weight loss. So when we promote weight loss, all we want them to do is come in and learn about weight loss. And then they, they're gonna, you'll see as they go through, they're gonna find out we're chiropractors and it's really cool when they do. So yeah, so we start off with, hey, this is about being healthy and vibrant. And then we, we have a bunch of testimonies, testimonies on their seat, testimonies you know, on our things. So like a few here, we'll just read, Bobby lost 14 pounds in 12 days, no more insulin. People are like, wow, 12 days, 14 pounds? Carson, 30 pounds, no more blood pressure or diabetes. Char, insulin dropped 260 to 62 in 30 days. Chris, lost 100 pounds in four months. So they're they're looking at this, and the first thing we say is, hey, do you see these testimonies? You're probably wondering, come on, is this for real? How can this happen? Is this really true? And we're like, it is. Way do you hear how our program works? And that's all we do. We just get them intrigued. Yeah, so you start off with a bang, right? Boom. So you want to start off with a huge, like, wow. like And you notice we didn't just say that Carson lost 30 pounds or Trisha lost 33 pounds. We talked about getting off of blood pressure medication, no longer being diabetic, get off their insulin. Now, obviously, in our office, we don't get them off of that, right? They go to their medical doctor, and their medical doctor says, hey, man, you're doing great. Like, you don't need this insulin anymore. Yep. Or you don't need this blood pressure med, right? Because you can't tell them to get off of medication. But we let them know, like, hey, these are some possibilities. These people did it. You could do it, too. So then when we say, you know what, you're probably skeptical right now about this information about these people. So I want to show you blood work from one of our patients who was super skeptical when she started. She was a nurse. She was super skeptical. She wanted to lose 50 pounds. Um, She was on blood pressure medication. She had high triglycerides. Um, Cholesterol was through the roof. So then literally, we talk about this lady, Sue, who started our program. And Sue said, listen, before I start this program, I want to get my blood work done before, and then I'm going to get it done after because I, I want to prove you guys that you this doesn't work. I'm yeah. like, all right, Sue, whatever you want to do. <laughs> so she goes, gets her gets her numbers done. Her cholesterol was 256, normals 200 or less. Triglycerides were 388. Then she has her LDLs, HDLs on here. And she ended up losing 42 pounds in 40 days. So one, she felt on top of the world. Also, she was under chiropractic care three times a week for three months, right, because of what was going on with her spine that we needed to correct. Then she goes back. She gets her old, her new blood work done. Cholesterol went from when it was 256. Now it's down to 201. Her triglycerides were 388. They're down to 204. <laughs> so literally in half. Okay, so 
when we show this and say, do you think she was skeptical after she got her results from her blood work? No. After the first week, she was no longer skeptical because she was losing weight. She was feeling great. Her energy was up through the roof. She was able to walk again. So she was just doing phenomenally. But it's really good to use an example of a patient who is skeptical because the people sitting in their seats looking at you are skeptical. And you can ask them that. You can say, who's skeptical? Everyone will raise their hand. And the reason you want to do that is, one, you want, to, you want to acknowledge that. Tell them, we know you're skeptical. I was too. And then all of a sudden now you're on their side and you want to have interaction. You want to get them to raise their hand and say yes 10, 20, 30 times during the workshop. So you just interact the whole way through because the more they interact, when, you, when you're at the end and we'll tell you how you get them signed up, when you have a call to action, they all do it. Because yep. they're used to answering questions. Yep. So then you jump into, you know, why weight loss? Like, why why are you here for weight loss? And you can you can ask the patients, but the majority will say, well, because the more weight that you have, the more likely you are to have chronic sicknesses and disease. It affects every aspect of your life. So I'll say, who in here, you know, and you'll see how big the people are there in your office. I'll say, who in here has a difficult time walking up and down the stairs without being out of breath? Oh, they're like, yes, I am. Or or you have to park at the very closest spot at the grocery store because you don't think you're going to be able to make it if you park two rows back. Oh, yes. So, yes, because weight does affect every aspect of your life, from tying your shoes to going to the grocery store, walking up and down the stairs. And in America, are we healthy or sick? They'll say we're sick and we're getting worse every single day. And that is why we have to address weight loss. And they're like, absolutely, we need to do that because you're making it a global thing now. And see, what we're doing here is we're adding in our doctor's report information in a weight loss situation. So we're telling them, look, we're sick as America. We're dying as America. It's affecting us in huge numbers. Don't you understand? We need to lose weight. We're going to help you with that. And they're like, yes, we are sick. We are on a lot of medications. Then we get into, hey, what are the major killers in our society? Being overweight, how does this affect you? What are you afraid of? What are the big ones? And you ask them, and everyone will say heart disease. Yes, that's one. What else? Cancer. That's right. What else? Uh, they'll, they'll you know, go around diabetes and stroke. And we say, how many people know somebody that has one of those? Everyone will raise their hand. And then we ask, how many of you would like to avoid that? Again, they raise their hand. So by the time they, they're into the third, fourth slide, they've raised their hand four, five, six times. And then we transition this. We say, okay, so heart disease, stroke, cancer, and diabetes. How do we treat this in America? How do we do this? They pause, and every time they say, through medication, we're like, yes. Do you see how that's not working? So it's a doctor's report mm-hmm. in a weight loss situation. <clears throat> they're getting fired up. They're realizing, oh, my gosh, we are in a bad situation. Mm-hmm. It's more than just weight loss. It's about your life. Yeah, and then I'll ask them. I'll, I'll know who in there has blood pressure medication. And I'll say, so let me ask you, and I won't specifically point them out because you don't want to do any HIPAA violations with medications and stuff, but I'll say, who in here is taking blood pressure medication? And then they'll raise their hand, literally. They'll be like, oh, I do. And if they don't and you know they do, no big deal. I'll say, so who in here knows someone who takes blood pressure medication? They'll raise their hand. You'll say, if they don't take their blood pressure medication, or if you point to the person, if you don't take your blood pressure medication uh, tomorrow morning, what's going to happen to your blood pressure? Oh, it's going to go up. you say, okay, so is it really correcting your blood pressure or is it just maintaining it? Oh, it's just maintaining it, right. Are you ever, did your doctor say you're ever going to be able to get off of that medication? Oh, no, I'm never allowed to get off of it because if I do, then my blood pressure will go too high and then I can stroke out or something. Say, so it's not correcting your problem, is it? No, it's not, but I don't know what else to do. That's why I want to lose weight. So you get them engaged in saying, like, medication is not the answer, but they don't know what is the answer. So that's what we're going to provide for them. You could use that with thyroid issues, blood pressure, whatever, but blood pressure is just the easiest one. Um, So then we jump into, listen, here's hope. We say, if you could lose 20, 30, 40 pounds, if you could decrease your blood factors, cholesterols, your LDLs, your triglycerides, if you could lose 5 10% body fat, if you could eliminate the chance or risk of diabetes, heart disease, high blood pressure, other sicknesses, if you could lose 1 to 3 inches off your waist, increase motion flexibility, increase healing and energy, and begin to reverse chronic disease in just 8 weeks, who would be interested in doing that? And then you raise your hand. Yeah. And then guess what they do? Every single one. They all raise their hand. They're like, of course I would want to do that, Doc. And then we laugh. We're like, yeah, I know. You think this is crazy, don't you? And they're like, how can you do this? I'm like, our program does this every day. Wait do you see. And, and they're excited. They're like, wow, maybe I could. 
Yep. So then what we do is we jump right into a video testimony. Like we have all kinds of different testimonies from all our different patients who've come in. So one that I like to use is this guy, Mike. So Mike ended up losing. He, he shoots this video. He tells us, I lost 41 pounds in 42 days. I feel great. And he's, I, he's excited. He's yeah, laughing. He's laughing. He's having a good time. He ended up losing 87 pounds during our program. And then I tell a joke about how Mike like still hasn't bought any new clothes because he hasn't because he wants to lose 100 pounds. And he's like, I'm waiting until I lose 100 pounds. His belt wraps around him twice. Everybody gets to laughing because you want to throw some humor in there. But you got to be real precise of when you do that. And this, and this next question we ask is real precise because when people hear diet, cleanse, detoxification, do they think having fun or do they think miserable, horrible? Miserable. They're denying themselves. They can't, can't wait to finish this stupid diet. Mm -hmm. They feel miserable. Mike literally said, hey, I lost 41 pounds in 42 days. He's laughing. And, and I say, does he look or sound like he's on a diet? And, no. and I say it real serious. And they're like, no. I'm like, because our program yields great results and it's not hard. Here's a guy that just lost 40 pounds and he's happy. And they're now they're looking going, hey, this is different. Mm -hmm. This is where are you going here? Now they're starting to build hope. Now they're real now their ears are wide open. Yep. So then what we do is we get into here are the major components of our program. So I'll talk about toxins, right? So docs out there, we're talking about toxins. That's one of the three T's of chiropractic, right? We're not saying that, but we're talking about we'll say toxins. So this is what happens. You come into contact with 60,000 toxins roughly every single week. So what's supposed to happen? Brain and liver are supposed to filter that out. When it can't filter out the toxins, fat cells come by, trap the toxins, fat cells hold on to the toxins, trying to prevent your body from those toxins just floating around. It's protecting you, right? So we talk about they're like, oh gosh, toxins, where do they come from? And we ask them that because we're building the three, one of the three T's right now. Oh, from the food we eat, the water that we drink, the medication that we're on. Yes, yes, yes. All these different things, we're building it up. Then we talk about alkalinity because a lot of them have heard about that alkaline versus acidic and we talk yeah you want to be more alkaline right more alkaline you are the healthier you are leafy green vegetables those kind of things um, and then we talk about hormones now we don't do any hormone replacement therapy or anything like that but we do get into like what controls your hormones right your nervous system controls your hormones <laughs> and everyone that when we say that toxins, alkalinity, hormones, just those top first three, everyone knows about toxins. They know they're dangerous. They just don't know what to do. They heard a lot of people heard about alkalinity. Every woman knows hormones, and they believe it's my hormone issue. It's I'm glad you mentioned that because if we didn't mention hormones, they would say, "I'm not, I'm not doing it." Mm -hmm. and you didn't even mention hormones, so and you don't have to get in long depth. You're just hitting it. Look. Who has heard the hormone thing? They all raise their hands and say, it is part of it. But it's not as significant as you think because it's part of a program. It's not just the one thing. So they're, huh, I have been taking hormone drugs and nothing's happened. My God, maybe, maybe you're onto something. And then we talk about nutrition. We have to have good nutrition. That makes sense. And I tell them, this is not a diet. This is not diet food. This is nutrition stuff you can buy in Walmart or Whole Foods. doesn't matter. We're gonna, we, what we want to do is transition them into a lifestyle change. They can eat more organic later. We're getting them on board. Talk about GI system. We talk about <clears throat> leptin and serotonin. So we ask anyone here to leptin. And a few people raise their hands. Leptin's that, that, that hormone. Leptin's that, that lets you know, stop eating. And I'll, I'll always give an example. So you're in a restaurant and you're with somebody and they finish half their meal and they stop. Their leptin's working. They're done. They're full. You finish yours and then you finish theirs because there's no leptin working in you. And they all laugh. So we have to have the, our system working properly. And that all gets tied into body physiology. Body physiology is something key in our office. And this is a transition that nobody is talking about putting this all together. We're going to talk about this and show you how our program just yields amazing results. Yep. So then when we start talking about the body physiology, right? We talk about function. So the first thing that we do is we'll say, so why do people, why do you guys want to lose weight? Right? And then I'll, I'll just ask them flat out. And then somebody will say, well, my spouse just recently died because he was overweight and had heart disease. Or my grandparent, or my parents died early because they were all overweight and this and that. I say, so 
you know, I say, do people want to lose weight just because they want to look better or feel better? Yeah, some people do want to do that, look better and feel better, right? That's why those covers of the magazine sell so well when you see a, a guy or a girl who's just absolutely shredded, <laughs> right? Because you're like, oh, I want to look like that because they're trying to trick us into trying to look like that, which is impossible. Um, but, it's, but then we say, you know, but really is losing weight the only factor in health? And I'll say, how many of you know someone who's skinny and is chronically sick? They'll all raise their hand. They all know. How yeah. many of you know someone who works out in the gym every single day and they drop dead of a heart attack and someone will raise their hand? And and this is a transition. They, they look curious at this point. They kind of squint their eyes and go, you're right. I do know somebody skinny that's sick all the time. I do know somebody skinny that's on a boatload of medication or the gym guy that dropped dead of a heart attack. And they're going... Oh, my gosh. Yep. Huh. Where are you going with this? Yeah, and I'll tell a story about, um, and you guys and girls might have a story too, but one of my dad's best friends, my dad worked at UPS. One of his best friends um, who worked at UPS with him, uh, he retired a couple years ahead of him. And this guy was running every day, five miles a day, every day. It didn't matter if it rained, snowed, <laughs> had no, no matter. He ran every day. He wanted to have a healthy heart, and he ate organic food. That was all he ate. One of my dad's really good friends. And then I'll tell him, I'll say, listen, two years ago, so he had been running and doing all this for a couple years. Two years ago, December 23rd, he was out for a run and he dropped dead of a heart attack. He didn't come home. His wife didn't know where he was. He literally was out for a run and dropped dead of a heart attack. And I'll say, how is it if this guy is exercising every single day and this guy is eating organic food, organic food almost a perfect diet, how is it possible that this guy drops dead of a heart attack? There's something else that could have been causing this, right? It had to be. It couldn't be his diet or his exercise, right? So what, then we go into, what controls function? Like the function of his heart. Why was his heart functioning the way that it was supposed to? What controls your thyroid? Thyroid controls metabolism. So if your thyroid is not functioning the way it's supposed to, metabolism goes down, what does your weight do? They say, yeah, well, it goes up. What about your immune system? What controls that? What controls your stomach acid when you eat a, a banana versus a piece of steak to determine how much acid to produce? What controls that? What controls your hormone production? What controls you know digestion for the supplements for weight loss or or this pill or that pill? What controls all that? And then I'll point to the brain if they don't say it. Yeah, they, they all look kind of confused at this point. Like, I, I don't know. No one's ever told us about this. So what's in control of this? is the game changer. And then when we point to the brain, we're like, your brain controls all that. So the brain sends energy, and then you just talk chiropractic. But here's a key point, guys and ladies. Don't say, hey, I'm a chiropractor, this is chiropractic. Present it as physiology. This is just anatomy. God put the power in the brain. The brain ha is all orchestrated to run everything. They, they, they get that. They're, that makes sense. It sends that, that communication through the spine, through the nerve system, spinal cord, out the nerves to the thyroid, to the adrenal glands, to the digestion. So this communication is, is what's working properly. And they're like, huh, that makes sense. So then we, we say, let me, let me give you an example. Before we get into the whole stress thing, I say, let me make this real for you. And this is, this is really cool. You go into the audience. And you ask if you don't remember their name, you, you pick somebody out. Hey, what's your name? It's Mary. Mary, and you, you take and you squeeze her upper arm and her biceps, squeeze it, shutting off nerve and blood flow to her, to her hand. Let's say it's the left arm. You squeeze her left arm and you say, if I squeeze Mary's left arm, what's going to happen to her left hand? And they'll say, it'll go numb. And I'm like, right, it'll go numb because I'm shutting off life. I'm shutting off the nerve flow, the blood flow. I'm shutting off life. Now, if I shut this off over the next two, three, four months, what's going to happen to Mary's left hand? Uh, it, it a gangrene. It will die. Somebody will say it. And you say, yes, it will die. And I always joke because I'm squeezing Mary's arm. I'm like, Mary, if I squeeze too hard, just just hit me. Don't hit me hard. And they all laugh and say, you got to have fun with them. <clears throat> and say, so if I squeeze Mary's arm, and left arm, and her left arm goes numb. If I keep it there, it's going to go die. Will her right arm ever go numb? And, so, and somebody every time will go, yes! I'm like, no, no, no! Come on, this is simple. Dude. And they laugh. They're like, no, her right arm will never go numb. Will her left leg ever hurts? Will she ever get sciatic? No. Will she have heart palpitations if I squeeze her right arm? No. Will she have an eye twitch? No. Now, let me ask you this. What if 
I squeeze this area and her hand is not her hand, but that's her thyroid. And I shut off the nerve blood flow to her thyroid. What's going to happen to her thyroid? It will die. I'm like, so has anyone ever told you this? They're like, no. I'm say it's not just about diet. It's about how your body is functioning. If you have stress in an area that shuts off the nerve flow to your thyroid, it's not going to function. If it shuts off to the adrenals, it's not going to function. To your digestion, it's not going to function. And what I say is, I don't, I'm not talking chiropractic care, although I am. All I say is, so wouldn't it be important to check this out? Because this may be one of a concern that may be your issue all along. And they're going, my God, you're right. I've been dieting for years. What is this stuff? And somebody may ask, is it, are you a chiropractor at this point? I go, yes. And, and that's all I say is we're going to talk about how your body functions. Yep. So then what we'll do is you make it real simple for them like that. And then we'll talk about sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems. The information that Minardi talks about, Chestnut talks about, Tony Ebel talks about, you know, just the fight or flight mechanism. So we'll say, so if there is stress here along the spine, if there is stress there, it causes inflammation. That inflammation gets sent to the brain. When it gets sent to the brain, that causes this fight or flight response. And I'll ask them, you know, has anyone almost been in an accident before or ever had like heard of someone like a mom picking up a car because their baby's underneath or whatever? And they'll say, yes, that's fight or flight. So then I'll get into that. I'll say, so the first thing that happens under fight or flight is your brain sends energy to your adrenal glands to create energy, right? Because you have to have as much energy as quick as possible. So when that happens, that produces the catecholamines, adrenaline, noradrenaline, epinephrine, epinephrine, norepinephrine, right? So that build that sends out as much blood supply to you know to the muscles, so you can be as strong or as fast as possible. But the problem is when that happens, you have to pull blood from three areas: your GI system, your immune system, and your reproductive system. And I'll explain that. I'll talk about you know whenever you're sick, your immune system. If you have the flu, what are you doing all day? You're wiped out on the couch or in bed because you don't have the energy because all that blood's being used there. Your GI system, right? I'll talk about that. Then I'll talk about the reproductive system, right? Your fight or flight, you're not really caring about having sex with anyone at that time, right? And they'll laugh like, oh no, you're not. Yeah, of course you're not. So then when I talk about it, it's okay. So it affects the adrenal glands. So then when it affects the heart, the heart increases blood pressure, right? Blood output to pump all the blood everywhere. Digestion shuts down. Another thing that happens is your cortisol goes up. Everyone has heard of cortisol before. They know that that's, you know, a stress hormone that lays down belly fat. Well, when cortisol goes up, that shuts down production of dopamine. That also shuts down production of serotonin, which is the happy bubbly molecule that you get. So that leads to anxiety and depression. When dopamine is depressed, Minardi talks about this, that decreases concentration, you become easily distracted, okay, so ADHD. The other thing that happens is it affects, the stress affects your hypothalamus. Your hypothalamus is in charge of producing that leptin that we talked about earlier that's supposed to tell you you're full when you're full. Well, if that's affected, you never feel like you're full until you're literally full up to your neck, <laughs> and then you want to go home and crash on the couch. Then I talk about when, when you need more energy when you're in that fight or flight, once your adrenals crash because they can't stand being pumped so fast, so long, what happens is your body creates that gluconeogenesis. Now, I'm just saying that for you, docs. I don't talk about gluconeogenesis to our patients. All I say is your body starts to crave fats and sugars. The reason why is because if you've ever given your kid sugar or you've babysat a kid who's had sugar, what happens to their energy? It's up through the roof. Yes, it is, but only for a short time because what happens an hour or so later, they crash. Yes. And then the more sugar that you're putting into your body because you're craving that through that vicious cycle, the more insulin you have to produce over time. Pancreas can't keep up. So then insulin resistance kicks in. And that, what does that lead to, everyone? Diabetes, yes. And then I talk about cortisol also decreases your HDL, your good cholesterol, which increases your LDL, bad cholesterol. So now you have high cholesterol. And then your doctor wants to put you on a medication. So then I say, I go back through these slides. And literally, I have listed out effects adrenals. Increased heart output, digestion shuts down, depression, anxiety kicks in, loses concentration, easily distracted, affects hypothalamus, serotonin levels drop, depression, anxiety kicks in, craves fats and sugars, insulin resistant, causing diabetes, fatty acids floating through the blood, that with that acid, that fat gets stored centripetally, which is around your waist and your hips, your stomach, and cortisol shuts down HDL, increases LDL. So I say, so of all those things, that's 
your doctor would do what? Would put you on medication. So now you're on a medication for your energy, so your B12 shot. You're on a medication for your blood pressure, medication for digestion, medication for anxiety and depression, med- medication for her ADHD, some hunger s- suppressant. You're on something for insulin or you're on your insulin shots or whatever, and then you're also on high cholesterol. So you're on seven or eight medications just from that, and that I get like really – like aggravated like i am right now just talking about it because it's like is that america or what like it is every freaking person who's overweight goes through the same system and they can put on all these drugs from their doctor and nothing ever changes they just keep getting sicker and sicker and sicker that's why we do this workshop to help people like you who are listening lose the weight the way that you're meant to lose the weight so that you can get off of these things because you don't need to be on all these freaking medications so then I'll go into the Agura study from 2011, right? So in the Agura study, it showed that the adjustments actually reverse the sympathetic stress hormone response, turns on parasympathetic, okay? So it reverses all those things. And now people are like, oh my gosh, like hmm. that's what chiropractors do? I thought they were just neck pain and back pain. I didn't know that they affect the nervous system like this, that they affect body physiology like this. I just thought... I haven't had any neck pain or back pain ever. Why would I go see a chiropractor? And when we go through that and we show them, look, if you have spinal stress and it's creating the stress hormone response, do you think you're going to eat your way out of this? That diet's going to work? No. You, and if you exercise, guess what's going to happen? They all look puzzled. It's going to make it worse because exercise is a stressor. How many are being told just diet and exercise? Do you see how this is a huge failure? They're like, oh my gosh. So they're not looking at chiropractic as... I need chiropractic adjust, adjustments and I need my neck cracked and whatever they're thinking. They're looking at it as maybe this is a missing part of the puzzle. I want checked. Mm-hmm. So they're, 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 that's what's going to get them all signed up at the end. Now they're looking and going, saying, I've never seen a program like this. I've never heard anyone talk this way. And they'll say to you, Doc, I've been to chiropractors. They've never told me this. I've been to my medical doctor. He's never told me this. I've been to my nutritionist. They've never told me this. They never connect it. Our program connects it, keeping primary chiropractic primary and diet if you want to call it that, a lifestyle change in our weight loss system, secondary, but they go together. So then we say, after all that, we say, this leads to chronic sickness, obesity, and being overweight. Does it not? And everyone's like, yes. So then we show another testimony, just picture testimony of this girl, Nina. She lost 80 pounds, 16% body fat, five months. She looks completely different in her pictures. Unbelievable results. Then we say, well, what about your family? Is it possible that your kids, your spouse, your husband, your wife, your mom, your dad, could they possibly have this stress going on? Docs, this is when we're getting people to refer new patients to our office from people who aren't even patients yet. This is beautiful. So we say that. We say, what about your spouse and your kids? We say, in America, are we more proactive or are we reactive And they say, we're reactive. We wait for something bad to happen, and then we do that. I say, yes, we are. I say, that's why we're in the trouble that we're in. If we were more proactive, took care of our nervous system, took care of eating right, took care of exercising, a lot of these problems wouldn't exist at all, would they? They say, no. We say, so even if your wife or your husband or your kids don't have any issues yet, do you think it would be important for them to get their nervous system checked? And they all say, yes, it would be. And we also say this in a way, too, that, Hey, if this is good for you to eat proper, change your lifestyle, shouldn't this be good for the entire family? And they're like, yeah, this can be done. The way you're going to eat and the way you're going to live can be done with your entire family. Because why wait for your son to get overweight or obese or have medical problems to say, son, now we're going to lose weight. Implement these strategies now. The way you're going to eat is going to be the whole family. So your entire family is going to benefit if you're the only one doing the weight loss. And, And they agree there too. So many of them sign up their spouse and their kids for an exam and sometimes the entire family because we have a family exam at the end just because we tie it all together and why not yeah why not so then we show another video of a woman named shirley shirley lost 101 pounds on our program she got she talks about getting off of her nexium she feels amazing and then we show her before and after pictures of her which is also unbelievable after losing 101 pounds so then we say listen this is why we get results because we teach you how to get well and stay well for a lifetime. 
We customize programs to fit you, not make you fit into a program. We determine if your nervous system stress is what's causing health concerns or preventing you from losing weight. And this is the other thing. We say what you need to do absolutely is on your next visit, you need to bring your spouse with you because studies have shown when you have someone going through this with you, you have greater success. Harvard studies show that. You have greater success when you're doing this with someone else, not doing it on your own. I say you'll never be on your own in our programs because we're always here to help you. But when you are at home, it's better to have someone know what you're going through. So that's another easy way to get their spouse to come in with them to their day one and then their day two. So then we say this is what we're going to do. This is the testing that we're going to do detailed case history and we just listed out everything that we're going to do x-rays motion x-rays your bmi hip to waist ratio every single thing that we're going to do and then we say listen this is a 495 dollars value but what we have done is it's 97 dollars for an individual and for an entire family it's 149 dollars and by 100 149 that includes your spouse and any kids that you have living at home and then I'll tell them a story about, or you could tell them about yeah. Chris. <clears throat> so we have a, an Amish patient in our one of our first exams years ago. And what's interesting, he's still a patient today. He comes in twice a month. He came in yesterday. Did he? Mm-hmm. And he, he comes in at least twice a month with his entire family. So this is what he says to me. He sees this. He, he wants to lose some weight. And he goes, uh, at the end, he goes, hey, I can bring my entire family in for $149? I said, yes. He goes, you know I'm Amish. <laughs> and I look at me at the hat, the beard, the clothes. I'm like, and him and his wife were both there. I'm like, yes, I realize that. And he says, well, we have a big family. I said, how many kids do you have? And I'm, I'm waiting. I don't know. I have five. I'm thinking like eight, nine. He said, 12. And he goes, you'll allow me to bring. Now, you hear that. He said, you'll allow me to bring all my kids in and my wife and I to get tested to see if we need chiropractic care. He was the only one that wanted to do weight loss. But he wanted to have his entire family checked. And I said, absolutely. And I, so I, and I give this to the audience. I say, why would I do that? Why would I do 14 exams for $149? dollars they all look at me like, uh yeah. I said, because he won't bring his other kids in. If I charge $97 per person, who's he going to bring in? Only the sick. And he'll leave everyone else at home never to get checked until they're sick. That's reaction. He wanted to be proactive. I made it easy on them. So if you have a family of two, three, four, five people, get them all checked. We'll do an entire exam and you'll know, do they have a healthy spine or do they not? Do they need care? Would they benefit from care? Would they benefit from a cleanse or a weight loss? All that for $149. That's why we do it because I don't, and I get passionate here. I said, I don't want to see your kids overweight or sick or medicated as they grow up and realize, my gosh, I wish somebody would have told me about that. We're doing it today for $149. And right there, you say, so for all that, what you need to do now, and this is key, don't just say, okay, let's, any questions, um, I'll answer any quick. Don't do it. Say what you need to do right now, you need to go to the back, tell them your, your staff's name, you're going to go to the back, and Emily is going to take your appointment time, tell her that it's for you and your family, even if your family doesn't know yet, schedule them today, because we'll honor the $149. You'll pay and you'll get paperwork, and then you'll be scheduled in the next few days, week or so. We, we've opened up a lot of spots. So what you need to do right now, and I say it again, you need to stand up, walk straight to the back, get in line, and, and get this this done. I'm gonna get my computer and everything ready. If you have any questions in a, in a few minutes, I'll have a minute, but what you need to do now, and I say it a third time, stand up and go to the back. And if nobody moves, because I've had people, they all sit there and stare, I'm like, all right, so who's gonna be the first one that gets the prize? And somebody stands up, I'm like, all right, everyone go back, get in line, and then I turn my back and get my computer ready. I fold it up, I get it, because I don't want to sit and ask questions, because somebody's going to ask a dumb question. They're going to ask something, and then the whole audience is going to wait for your answer. Get them in line, then ask questions later. And you'll see, once the first person stands, they all go and say, hey, the sooner you get back there, the quicker you can get out of here. Um, And you know, first 15 people there, they're waiting in line for a while. And then you tell them exactly what you want them to do, and they'll do it. And every time, nearly every single person goes to the back and they sign up for their family. Absolutely. So hopefully you guys were taking notes there, uh, went through a whole bunch of information, but that is literally slide by slide our workshop that we use to get all these new patients into our office, 
to get not only them, but to get their family under care. And that's exactly how we transition someone who has never, ever wanted to go see a chiropractor to come into our office because they want to lose weight. But then they get to understand what chiropractic is all about. And then they get to understand that, hey, my family needs this as well, regardless of whether or not their family members have symptoms. And the best part is it makes it super easy for you on a day one when they come in because they already understand that they're coming in now for a chiropractic visit, right? Because they want to get their spine checked. They know they're going to get x-rays. They have already paid (laughs) and they're already having their family members come in to get checked as well. Easy. Makes it super easy. Then you just, and a day one, just go and listen to our day one podcast because we go through what we do on a day one exam. And then it makes it even easier on a day two. because So now you have all these different days where they're getting more and more information about chiropractic, how that's going to benefit them, and why they need chiropractic care along with their weight loss, but primary chiropractic care. And that's it, guys. So, you know, listen to this over and over. Implement it. Just do it. And if you're, if you're, you know, some of our docs have said, you know, I haven't done workshops in years. I tell them, look, schedule one 30 days out. Post it, you know, and get everyone to come, as many people as you can, and just do it. And they're scared. They're like, okay, I've never, I'm like, just do it anyway. And they'll email me back or they'll text me that night. They're like, I had six people there. They all signed up for an exam. I'm so excited. This is, it worked. They're like, and and Dave from from, uh, New York, he said, listen, I just did exactly what you said. I didn't change a thing. And he goes, it worked. I I can't believe it. Everyone signed up to come in. So it will work for you, docs, especially if you're passionate. Don't sell chiropractic. Be interactive. Have fun. Transition them from, hey, this is about weight loss to this is about health. They'll sign up. They'll love you. They'll love chiropractic. And you're going to start seeing a ton more families in your office and when you start selling our kits, our, our weight loss kits at 1600 you're going to make a lot more money. So, yep. you know, if you want to learn more, head on over to the Chiropractic Authority. Check it out. Email yep. us. Get- make sure you schedule a consult with us, too. We'll, we'll sit down with you on the phone. We'll talk to you about every single aspect of the program, how the program works, other information like what we just did with this weight loss workshop that works like a charm. But this is only just a small piece of of the entire program. I mean, we have over 120 videos on this, from everything from answering the phone, to a day one, to a day two, to closing the patient, to what you do on your first adjustment. Everything's listed out for you guys. We made it really, really simple, but it could totally transform your practice. So make sure you go to thechiropracticauthority.com, schedule for a free phone consult with us. We'll be glad to talk to you and help you build your practice. Awesome, so have a phenomenal day. This is T-Bone. And this is Dr. Calm, your K-Dog. And we are the Chiropractic Authority. For more information about the Chiropractic Authority, run on over to thechiropracticauthority.com where you can start training today on our free videos, free training material, webinars, PowerPoints, our innate life systems, coaching, and much, much more. This information will blow you away. So thanks for listening, and until next time, this is Aaron. And this is Kyle. We are the Chiropractic Authority. Authority.